Six ways to protect your turbocharger. Nowadays, most cars come with a turbo, unless you have an electric vehicle or an old car or a hybrid electric vehicle, but even hybrid cars nowadays come with a turbocharger. So here are six tips to protect your turbo. I have a turbo over here. Tip number one would be to use a thinner oil. Of course, if it's approved by your car manufacturer, you may have in your car uh, owner's manual, you may have a list of oils which you should use, which you can use, but uh, if you drive mostly to work or if you do lots of cold starts to your engine, you should consider uh, using a thinner oil. For example, if your car manufacturer tells you in your user manual that you can use 0W20 or 0W30 or 5W40, you should go for 0W oil, 0W20 or 0W30. By doing this, your engine oil will be thinner during cold periods. So this shaft over here, once you start the engine, it will start rotating at about 20,000 RPM and it can go as high as 150,000 RPM in full throttle. So when you cold start the engine, you need a layer of protection to make this shaft last for longer periods. Oil is essential for smooth operation. So your car manufacturer will engineer an oil which suits the car's performance and your needs. But if you want extra protection, use the thinnest oil available, which is compatible with your engine. Tip number two, don't rev up the engine when it's cold. So if you just started your engine, don't rev it. Don't hit red line until your fluids, your engine oil and engine coolant reach the optimum operating temperature. It should take about 10 to 20 minutes until you have optimum temperature for both your engine oil and your engine coolant. Tip number three, don't switch off the engine immediately after you drove aggressively. If you drove on the highway, if you drove aggressively, if you just had some fun, if you just uh, drove just beneath the red line, do not turn off the engine immediately because your turbo is really, really hot. In some cases, it may even turn hot red on the exhaust side. So you may have temperatures which can reach a thousand degrees Celsius. So if you turn off the engine, those hot gases will burn, will carbonize the oil which is meant to protect this shaft, the oil which circulates through the turbine. So if you want for everything to be okay, you just have to let the engine run on idle for about three to five minutes. Even two minutes, but if you want to be completely safe, let it run for about five minutes. The gases will cool down, the engine oil will cool down, the engine oil acts as a coolant for your turbine in most cases. So if you allow it to run on idle, if you allow your engine to run on idle, it will cool down your turbine. If you switch off the engine immediately, dozens of times, you will eventually damage this shaft, which will eventually damage your turbine. Tip number four, change the oil faster. From what I've seen uh, in turbocharged engines, the engine oil, because it heats a lot more because those high temperatures in the turbine, it gets dirtier a lot faster, black to be more, more precise, and um, it will wear out a bit faster compared to an engine oil that is being used in a naturally aspirated engine. You have higher pressures, higher temperatures, more wear and tear. So if you want to extend the lifetime of your turbo, you should consider changing the engine oil more frequently. I would recommend changing the oil at around six to 7,000 miles or the equivalent in kilometers, around 10,000 kilometers. It's not that expensive to have a, an oil change, so if you want to add some extra life to your turbocharger, consider changing the oil more frequently. Tip number five, don't lug your turbo. So in simple terms, do not accelerate to full throttle when you have low RPM. If you have 1500 RPM, do not kick down the acceleration because you will force the turbo 
to work and it does not have any pressure within the exhaust gases. So you'll kind of lug or force the turbo. So avoid doing this if you want to extend its life. And of course, uh, the last uh, tip, which some will listen to and some will not. Uh, avoid driving the car when it's too cold. Avoid driving the car when it's like zero degrees Fahrenheit or around minus 17, 18 degrees Celsius and below that temperature because the entire engine is cold. The oil, even if you're using a thin oil, is thick and it will circulate slower in your engine and you will have more wear and tear on your engine parts your engine as a whole and especially on the turbocharger because the turbocharger right after you start the engine the oil starts to circulate in theory but uh, it takes a while until the oil pump pumps some oil and circulates it and goes to the turbine it takes like maybe 10 to 30 seconds depending on the oil type viscosity and so on so if you constantly cold start your engine at these temperatures you will add in time you will add extra wear to your turbo and to other engine parts as well so if it's possible avoid driving at these temperatures at least if you have short distances to travel use a taxi public transport go on foot or avoid going if it's not necessary because that damage will um, will cost you a lot in the future or the future owner in case you sell the car. So these are our six tips to extend your turbo's lifespan. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them down below. I'll see you next time.